to a new video. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you some of the new little bits from Nail Sugar. This isn't like, um, this is not like a big launch or anything, but Karen has just released some new decals, which I'm going to show you, and a few new glitters as well. So, the first um, decals are the lavender sprigs. Um, I love the decals. They just make nail art so quick and easy, especially if you're not 100% at hand painting um i mean the detail in these you wouldn't you'd struggle anyway i think even if you were good at it but these ones are the butterfly silhouettes i really like the silhouette ones that she does um then we have got these feathers which are gorgeous can't remember what these are called but i will turn the decals over in a minute i'm gonna link now sugar's website down below and you can save 10 percent on any of these using my code natmug10 I think that was floral feathers and then we've got these like floral guitars how fun is this one i love these ones they look super cute i can't remember i don't know what these ones are called either are they floral guitars yeah floral guitars there we go so those are the decals and then there are some glitters in here as well i really really like these so there's a silvery one called Ice Cream Dream and then Surf's Up which is the blue and then Let's Go Party which is the pink. This one is the Let's Go Party, it screams Barbie to me. And then you know in the song when it goes come on Barbie, let's go party. It's ah 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 yeah isn't it? And then I was like I wonder if she done that on purpose but I don't know. Anyway if that pink one screams Barbie, this one screams Ken. It's called Surf's Up. Um, I just love them. I'm not quite sure what it is. They've got little hearts and stars and triangles and diamonds and hexagonal glitter through them. And then there's little tiny bits of hollow mylar as well. And this one, I love this one. This one was Ice Cream Dream, I think. But this one's more of a kind of neutral, a kind of more neutral one. It's got a little mix of pink and blue and silver and everything in this one. I love it. But we're going to use that one today. So I grabbed Raindrop Rebirth and Angelic Sonata from my Madam Glam collection. You can save 30% on Madam Glam as well using my code NATMOG30. We're going to use these colours as the base colours for our nail design today. Um, I'm going to do two coats of each of these on my... Hang on, I'm going to do two coats of each of these colours on my nails. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And each coat of the Madame Glam gel polish will need 30 seconds in an LED lamp. I'm using the Madame Glam Elio lamp at the moment. Some people ask me what lamp I use. That's the one I'm using. I um, had to go back on that one because I dinked it. So they're going to go with the lamp. I'm going to do two coats. Then when they come out, because I'm applying glitter, I'm going to remove the tacky layer with... You can use isopropyl alcohol or some gel cleanser. It just gets rid of any colour that's in that tacky layer like any pigment that's left in that tacky layer because that can hinder the look of the glitter so i'm going to use the ice cream dream glitter which i've put in a little tray then i'm going to go over each of the nails with a very thin coat of base coat and then the kind of idea for this set of nails was i thought it would look like a kind of almost like a butterfly explosion with the the glitter exploding behind the butterfly that's kind of what I was going for. So taking my Madame Glam application brush, I did put a little tiny bit of base coat on the brush to help me pick up the glitter, but I was trying to get a selection of all the different bits inside the glitter mix. So there's like little stars, that there's some triangles there. And on, I don't know if I did on this one, but on the other nails, I did get some of the little diamond pieces as well. Oh, my ear. I've got pain in my ear. Ouch. Now it's gone. Nope, it's still there. Oh, that's really hurting. Okay, now it's gone. There we go. Look, and can you see the little bits of mylar in that as well? Um, so I'm going to go, like, once I've added the glitter, I'll pop them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to do the other nails, and this is what they look like. Glitter explosion. Yes, please. Then I'm going to go back over with a layer of base coat. Because we've added glitter, I want to smooth the nail out a bit because I'm going to add the decals. I don't want to add the decals to this rough bumpy textured nail you know with the glitter on so the you could use um if you don't have what well, you will have base coat but you could also use like a thin layer of builder gel as well 
um i just thought it would be quicker and easier to use the base coat then taking the decals i'm going to cut out the three butterflies that i want they're all slightly different designs so i was i was happy with that i'm just cleaning off my stamper <clears throat> those of you who are new here i use a stamper to adhere my decals so i'll place the decal upside down on my stamper and then i just wet the back and i just wait a little bit and then what will happen is eventually the backing of the decal will just slide off and you're just left with the the decal to stamp onto your nail so i'm going to do two butterflies at a slight angle like this the middle nail is going to be as straight as i can get it so I'm going to keep that nice and, what's the word? Yeah, look, it's going to be nice and even. There we go, like that. And then the other nail, I thought I would stamp it on at the other angle opposite that kind of bluey nail. Just like so. And I love these already. I was like, I mean, this is so simple, but it looks so, it looks really cute. All right, this is me. I couldn't decide what to use, so I decided... I'm going to do two nails shiny using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. And then I'm just going to do one nail matte so that we can just see the difference. And then you have to let me know. We don't have to. But I just let me know down below which one you prefer, the shiny or the matte. So the middle one, I'm going to do matte so that we can we can get the... What's the word? I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, don't forget you can save 10% on these new goodies from Nail Sugar using my code DATLOG10. I will link the website and the discount code below along with Madame Glam's as well, so you'll be able to find that. This is me going over with the matte top coat. Madame Glam's velvet matte top coat is amazing, by the way. I would thoroughly recommend that. They're going to go with the lamp. Oh, I love them! And then, you yeah, look. So which one do you prefer, shiny or matte? I kind of like them both. I don't think I can choose. But let me just show you a quick close-up. Here they are done. I hope you like them. Just a really quick, simple design. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. But once you've subscribed, you have to stay forever. Sorry, it's the law. Um, yeah, websites and discount codes will be below. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.